Right now, billions of liters of water are missing and no one's talking about it. It's not pollution. It's not evaporation. It's something far simpler. And most people have no idea. This is the trapped water theory. To understand what's happening, we first need to understand what should be happening. Earth's water moves in a perfect rhythm, evaporating from oceans, rivers, and soil, forming clouds, drifting across the sky, falling as rain, then seeping back into the ground and flowing to rivers again. Every molecule of water you've ever drunk has been here for billions of years, endlessly recycled. The planet's water cycle is like a heart, beating continuously, circulating life through every ecosystem on Earth. But humans have been quietly removing small amounts of drinkable water and not returning it. We seal it in plastic, freeze it, bury it, multiply that by billions of people over decades, and the total becomes enormous. The first trap is sealed bottles. Each year, the world bottles around 350 billion liters of water. Hundreds of millions of bottles are filled, capped, and shipped every day, stacked on pallets, rolling through trucks, sitting on store shelves, waiting to be grabbed. Most is eventually drunk or poured away, but up to 20% never re-enters the system. Some sit unopened for years. Others are buried in landfills, still capped. A bottle under layers of plastic and soil doesn't evaporate. It just sits, trapped, perhaps for decades, maybe even centuries. That's about 70 billion liters a year, enough to fill roughly 28,000 Olympic swimming pools. And that's only bottled water. The second trap is freezers, ice trays, frozen juice, forgotten tubs of soup or leftovers, all paused in time. Billions of liters of water sit solid, removed from clouds and rainfall. Individually small, collectively enormous, like global cold storage for the planet's liquid life. A single ice cube seems trivial. Multiply that by millions of households and suddenly it's significant. It's frozen water locked away, invisible yet impactful, holding back the natural rhythm of the cycle. The third trap runs through pipes and machines. Across cities and factories, countless liters sit inside old or abandoned plumbing, tanks and cooling systems. Some eventually flow to treatment plants. Some never move. Industrial sites, decommissioned equipment, or capped condensate reservoirs can hold water for years, sometimes decades. Individually small, collectively massive. Add it all up. Sealed bottles, frozen stores, trapped infrastructure, and tens of billions of liters of clean water are removed from circulation each year. Less than 1% of Earth's water is fresh and usable. That tiny sliver sustains every society. We're slowly locking away pieces of it, one bottle at a time. The water system depends on constant movement. When we create reservoirs that never rejoin circulation, we slow it down. It's like blood in a body. A single clot changes nothing. Thousands change the rhythm of the heart. The bottled water market grows about 8% each year, doubling roughly every nine years. 
Water, once free, is now a commodity. The 50 cent bottle today could be $1 tomorrow. In some regions, water rights are already traded like oil. Even humans are temporary traps. The average person is about 60% water. Eight billion people means hundreds of billions of liters locked inside our bodies. Eventually it returns, but for decades, that share of the planet's drinkable water is walking around in human form. Trapped water also contaminates over time. Plastic leaches microplastics and chemicals, so when bottles finally degrade, the water may not be clean. The longer it stays trapped, the worse it becomes. Every day we delay its return, the system loses another piece of fluid that should be moving freely. But this story doesn't end with panic. It ends with something simple. If you find a half full bottle, empty it. Ice trays, leftover drinks, radiator or AC water, pour it into the sink or soil. Once it's out, it can rejoin the system. One person doing it changes nothing. Millions doing it change something measurable. Picture an apartment building with 50 homes. Each empties one half full bottle a week, about 200 liters a year. Multiply that across cities and countries, billions of liters back in motion. Every small act counts. Every freezer emptied, every bottle poured, it all adds up. The planet's water cycle wants to move. It's designed to move. But we've spent decades putting up tiny, invisible dams. Every sealed bottle, every frozen drawer adds one more. We can take them down. We can restore flow. Because when water moves, life moves. When it's trapped, everything slows. So next time you reach for a bottle or open your freezer, remember, you're holding a piece of the planet's circulation in your hand. Release it, let it flow. Every drop counts. Don't store it, pour it. So, what do you think? Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like to support the channel. Subscribe for more. Until next time.